I'm Anna Tunkel, uh, Senior Director of Strategic Initiatives and External Partnerships at APCO Worldwide. Next week is the 11th Summer Davos, or as World Economic Forum dubs it, the annual meeting of new champions. It is a gathering that brings together diverse stakeholders from public policy and heads of state and ministers to leaders of multinational companies to media technology pioneers and many more. The meeting has been held uh, in Dalian um, and in Tianjin in China, and this year it will be returning to, to Dalian for its 11th year. I've been attending those for, for the past consecutive 11 years and very much look forward to returning to Dalian. There are a number of interesting themes uh, in the program and areas of particular interest um, to, to APCO and to our clients that I wanted to, to talk to you about. The first one is emerging technologies. The Summer Davos program has a host of topics dedicated to autonomous vehicles, uh, smart cities and smart mobility, artificial intelligence and robotics, blockchain and much more. Data is the new oil, they say. But to me, what's particularly interesting is this whole emerging area of public policy and regulating companies that potentially haven't uh, been in existence uh, 10 years ago. Um, so from, from APCO's standpoint and the work that we do with our clients, uh, the area of emerging policy frameworks and public-private partnerships for those new emerging champions uh, is particularly interesting and important. The second area is inclusive and equitable growth. Uh, Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff often talks about digital refugees, people uh, that have been displaced by, by the rapid technology progress. In fact, the Bank of International Settlements uh, earlier this week released a report that talked about the paramount impact of technology as a main disrupting force in globalization. The World Economic Forum recently opened a center in San Francisco that um, is fostering this multi-stakeholder public-private approach to uh, to looking at um, inequality as a result of technological progress. So I'm particularly interested at innovative solutions and how companies uh, as well as governments are looking to address this trend. The third area is learning uh, from China. Even though the meeting is not exclusively focused on China and, uh, and its contribution to, to this future economy, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about how much insights there, there could be derived from, from the conversations with, uh, with policymakers and business leaders in, from China that will be attending the meeting. Uh, one of the co-chairs, in fact, is Jin Liu, who is the president of Didi Chunxing, um, China's and perhaps soon world's largest ride-sharing company. Uh, they took over Uber's uh, share in China last year and are providing ride services across 400 cities in China to 400, over 400 million people. There are a number of other similar champions and pioneers that will be attending the meeting and drawing parallels and differences between uh, China's lessons and uh, what we're seeing in the West would be particularly interesting. So, the Summer Davos really is a microcosm of global stakeholders representing public sector, private sector, technology pioneers, innovators, the media. Um, and I always come away with fresh ideas and thoughts for, for our clients, for, for APCO, and so I very much look forward to, to attending and reporting back.